Hello everyone. So I'm back with a new video. Uh, my parents have recently traveled to Australia, so I'm here to share my experience while raising their visitor visa. Uh, I'll be discussing about all the problems that I have faced and uh, what other documents I have used while raising their uh, visa. Uh, I'll be covering my whole approach. I'll also be sharing uh, their experience while traveling via Sri Lankan airline from Delhi to Colombo and then Colombo to Sydney. So all the information that I'll be sharing in this video should not be considered a legal advice. Uh, it's just based on my personal experience. Uh, How are you Australia? How are you feeling? How are We have four categories of tourist visa that can be raised. Uh, one is uh, a tourist stream. Uh, like if you or your parents are currently staying in Australia and want to extend their stay for some reason, uh, they can raise that tourist visa. Uh, and the fee for the tourist visa is approximately $380. And uh, uh, you can raise it for like maximum of 12 months of stay. I'll be posting a picture uh, which will have all the details of uh, what conditions you have to meet and I'll also be providing the link where you can go and have a check on that uh, visa conditions. Uh, the other tourist visa is like if you're staying outside Australia and you are coming here for some personal reasons other than medical treatment and business just like if you're coming for uh, meeting your family, friends or just for tourism you can raise that visa uh, for that visa the fees would be 150 Australian dollar and uh, it can be raised for a continuous stay of 12 months not more than that and the other one is sponsored family visa so for me I personally raised tourist visa outside Australia because for the family sponsored visa you would sometimes require to pay the bond amount which I was not willing to do at the moment and as Australian government has recently increased the number of tourist visa that they'll be granting so I thought of going with the normal tourist visa which costs $150 and uh, the it chances of getting that visa easily this time and uh, I, I got my visa in like uh, three days uh, so that was a pretty quick time uh, so as you can see on the screen uh, you need to have these set of documents for raising a tourist visa for anyone uh, one is the passport of applicant applicant photograph uh, bank statement of applicant uh, national identity document uh, for example in india we have uh, aadhar card so you can use any of the one you have in your country uh, proof of source of income of uh, applicant if there is any otherwise like if, if they are retired or housewife you can mention that uh, they have a drop down anything you have some options available you can mention any of them based on what option you choose you have to provide uh, the documents proof of source of income for uh, the applicant uh, if you are sponsoring like if you are currently in Australia and you are sponsoring it for someone like family and friends you would need to submit your visa copy if they are citizen like they should have passport or some proof of citizenship uh, for Australia and uh, their bank statement if they'll be sponsoring them with funds as well uh, also uh, their salary slip uh, of the sponsor uh, for like three months it will work invitation letter uh, I'll just uh, explain you the format of the inv invitation letter going forward in the video uh, and proof of sponsor uh, for someone who is in Australia uh, proof of address they have to provide and yeah that is it so uh, the photograph of the applicant should be in 45 mm into 35 mm uh, uh, other requirements you can see on the screen but uh, the main what I think is you won't find it anywhere but that, that's my personal experience so keeping the background white uh, makes it more uh, professional so yeah better to have that a bank statement should be six months uh, uh, it if someone is sponsor like someone already in Australia is sponsoring the applicant then uh, 
it's like they don't need to have much funds available in their bank accounts uh, generally like 2 3 lakhs will also work but if in case you are uh, sponsoring your own travel and uh, you are uh, taking all taking care of all your expenses on your own then it is suggested to have minimum of 6 to 7 lakhs in your account minimum of 6 to 7 lakhs in your account and uh, in that scenario like if you are, if you are sponsoring on your own then there there are different scenarios wherein you yeah, like you will have to showcase your uh, uh, travel tickets both uh, like coming to sydney and then the return travel and uh, it can be depending on uh, what criteria you will be choosing and what itinerary you submit so it's it's quite flexible yeah a uh, national ident- identity document as i told you already in india it's aadhar card it can be voter card of your country or your driving license source of income uh, can be salary slips uh, and also your bank statement um, clearly mentioning that you are receiving salary from so and so organization uh if if it's that scenario then like you can uh, consider it can be considered as well and also letter from employer mentioning how long you have been working there what's your designation and what your roles and responsibilities are so that will also work and it is something like if you are employed else if you are not then if you are running a business then you should have two years uh, financial statement of your business that will also be considered as source of income proof if in case uh, you have a sponsor then they need to provide their 3 uh, to 6 months bank statement and uh, also like they should have enough fund in their account uh, to show them that you can uh, sponsor someone and can bear their expenses for like uh, the duration that they'll be coming here for generally consider it as one or two months minimum every slip of sponsor uh, it should either three months of pay slip or uh, a employer letter mentioning your designation and uh, status of your employment whether you are permanent or you are on contract or permanent contract so yeah the main thing is uh, the invitation letter so it it depends what basically your invitation letter says uh, uh, so uh, i have attached a sample that i have mentioned i clearly stated that i'll be taking care of full expenses of my parent so the bank statement and the employment status does not matter what i submit for them uh, they were they they were supposed to just look at my documents and based on that the visa was granted so yes uh, i will attach this document in the video description as well so just in case you need it you can use the same template because this is the same template that uh, i and my friend we used so yeah uh, and i i found it a good one because mainly if you are sponsoring your parents this is the template that you should be using if you are currently staying in australia and you are sponsoring your parents then you should have your address proof where you otherwise your otherwise the one who are raising it on their own they need to have their full itinerary yes so that is like a bit complicated process to provide full uh, itinerary wherein like you have to provide the ticket bookings hotel bookings your travel plan you have to prepare the full case study for that complete document should be there which yes is sometime messy means as i have already mentioned in the video above uh, the screenshot uh, with the visa categories uh, we have the timelines there as well you can have a look if you really want to check and also i'll be attaching the link where like these information keeps on updating in a while or like as there is a change in process they updated it into their official website i'll be attaching that link as well in the description you guys can just go and have a check on the latest details uh yes so application form that i filled in uh, i'll tell you about some of the things that were confusing to me and uh yes so my friend relatives uh, while they were filing their visa uh, 
uh, they updated one of the field they have one of the detail that is required as uh, non accompanying member of family unit so they updated it as empty blank so what people do sometimes in australia is they come here on tourist visa and uh, they never go back they stay here as a refugee to so to avoid that just they they just ask you like if you have any relatives in your country if you have any properties available there if you have any liability dependency so just in case they think that you don't have any dependency and you won't be going back to your home country then sometimes they reject your visa so that is what happened to one of my friends relatives as well so uh, what they did was they updated that uh, details as blank and the visa got rejected so that is one of the mandatory field what i think is that you should always update your relatives details one or two like if you want to update more then it, it is good as well so that is one thing i typically want to state so here is the link to submit the visa and also a link to immigration website where you have all the details updated for tourist visa stream